Now that the Deion Sanders era is over at Jack State University, I want to look forward to kind of give y'all a glimpse at uh, you know, what he's moving on to, what he left Jack State for, okay? Because I think everybody's just comparing Power Five to the swag or this rich school to the to this school that uh, struggles financially, this big school to this small school. But people aren't really talking about what is Colorado in the context of Power Fives versus what Jackson State is within the context of HBCUs. And it's very different. It's very different. As I've said before, and I'll keep saying, Jackson State is a blue blood HBCU football program. It is one of them ones, okay? Grambling is the one, okay? If you're going to say Alabama is the most prestigious football program in the nation, Grambling is that. It has the history, has the legendary coach, okay? Jack State got a legendary coach as well, W.C. Gordon. I'm talking about like the, like when you think about Power five football or big white school football. Let's just goddamn be 100. Bell Bryant and now Nick Saban. For HBCU, you think Eddie Robinson. Okay, so Grambling got that. But then you get into the other schools that just, you know, got that name, got that history, got that success. Yeah, especially in the swag. You got Southern. You got Jack State. You know what I'm saying? So that statue, that shit means something. That block means something. Them four Hall of Famers mean something. You know what I'm saying? All them goddamn swag championships, that shit means something. The Sonic Boom means something. Colorado does not hold that kind of statue amongst these big white schools. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. Let's look at it. Colorado has one national championship, and that was in 1990, okay? It has 19 conference titles, but 13 of those were doing segregation, okay? And if you really keep up with, like, history and the history of college football, you know that integration – it hurt HBCUs, okay? But it also helped, I mean, excuse me, it also hurt some of these schools, the white schools who couldn't get the black athlete. You know what I'm saying? Like, integration helped the, N the SEC like a motherfucker. We down here. You know what I'm saying? But a school like Colorado, that, that, there's a reason why. After these schools really got integrated, they only got six conference titles after that. Their last one being in 2001. Okay. They have one Heisman winner, though. And then that, I, this is what I remember them being like nice for real is when they had this motherfucker, Rashawn Salam. He was a bad boy on the college level. Okay. He was. Uh, didn't go on to really have a, a good NFL career, though. And they have zero Pro Football Hall of Famers. Okay. Uh, they moved to the Pac-12 in 2011. And since they moved to the Pac-12, uh, they've only had two winning records during this time. That was in 2016 when they went 10-4. and 4, And in 2020, you know, the COVID year, they went 4-2. and 2. In the last 20 seasons, they've had, they've had, excuse me, only four winning seasons. In 2004, they went eight and five. 2005, they went seven and six. Uh, as I alluded to, 2016, 10 and four, 2024, and two. So that was, that's what Coach Prime is taking over. A cellar dweller. He ain't taking over one of these, uh, uh, something that's comparable to what Jackson State is in HBCU, if he was taking over what Jackson State is in HBCU, he would have to go 
to a USC or uh, LSU or Notre Dame. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had to go in. Yeah, you ain't Alabama, but you're going in one of the ones that's in that next, like, like right underneath it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He got to do that. And it, that's not where he is, Jack. So you, if you really want to grasp it, again, let's say you, you don't pay attention to uh, Power 5 football. You think about whatever team you think is the cellar dweller or down in the, in the bottom of the, uh, of the swag or the meag, whatever you, that's what he just went to. They were 1-11 last year. Okay? That was a record. Within that conference, you had one, two, three, four, five, six teams that were ranked in that conference. All right? That's uh, Utah, number eight. USC number 10, Washington number 12, Oregon, uh, well, excuse me, Oregon State at 14, Oregon at 15, UCLA at 18. Okay. I mean, that's what that's what he's going into now. Do I think he, he can get it done? I do. I think he can have success in, in this conference. Work the transfer portal, work, you know. He's still prime. He's the, there's still only one him at that level in terms of his magnetism, his careers, and all that kind of stuff. But this ain't no easy task, Jack. This is the first time in Coach Prime's career, I'm talking about from Florida State to now, that who he is does not match up directly with the task in front of him. This is what I mean by that. Once he leaves Fort Myers and goes to Florida State, goddamn it, he ran a 4-2 in hella athletic. Boom. What he, who he is, what he is, match exactly what Bobby Bowden wanted him to do. You go to Atlanta Falcons. Who you are, what you do, matches what they need you to do. Your personality, the media might criticize you some, but they love you, good copy. They want the quote. They want, you know, shit that's going to make folk pay attention. It's great. You go to the 49ers, you're exactly what they need. You know, to my ready-made team, great quarterback, defense already good. You know what I'm talking about? Got the greatest player of all time, arguably, and Jerry Rice. You know, definitely the greatest wide receiver. They got him already, boom, you come in. You go to Dallas Cowboys, they just need a little something, you know what I'm talking about, to help them get. They already won two Super Bowl, so you just need a little something, you know what I'm talking about, boom, you bring in prime. Like it, it, all these stops, he got he got exactly what he did. He got the athletic ability. You go on the TV, you, you got the gift of gab. You got that. You ready made for that. You come to Jack State University. You got that. That light work because we your people. You we your people. So all that shit match us. That give me my theme music and and, and goddamn this is mystical. That that's our shit. Listen, all eyes on me. That's our shit. We love that shit. That's our shit. Even with the, uh, uh, the very vocal Christianity. God damn it, black folk down south, it's a Bible belt. We love that shit. Ate that shit up. Ate it up. But now he's in a place where they tell his son that the shit he was posting on their social media does not match their image. The first time it don't directly match up. They want them to recruit. They want them to work that transfer portal and get these four and five stars over there. But that's it now. That's it. Leave the coaching to these two guys, these two white guys we just brought in as OC and DC. You bring them in. You bring them in, we'll coach them up. And this is just a job now. But again, now the Pac-12 is not SEC. The Pac-12 is not the, even the Big Ten. Okay? So you get the talent there, he can do something. 
Okay? I'm not saying he can't. Shadur's a fucking baller. Shadur's a baller. I wish that young man well. And see, in his post-game presser, and I think it was sincere. Now, God damn it, I've misjudged motherfuckers before. God misjudged his daddy. Because I just didn't think in, somebody would be just invoking God like this and saying all that kind of shit in the energy, you know. But Shador sounded sincere when he said, yeah, I went to private school my whole life. So being here, being around your own people, your own type, that hit, that hit, that was different. I believe that. I believe that for him. He ain't grow up like his dad grew up. He ain't grow up in a neighborhood like mine. You know what I'm saying? So being at Jack State, got that. See, I didn't have to go to Jack State in undergrad to be surrounded by blackness. God damn it, that was my neighborhood. <laughs> that was my hood, Jack. You feel me? He ain't had that. So I felt that when he said that. I really think he's appreciative of his time there. And also, the boy's a hell of a football player. So you got your QB. Trav finna go out there. As I take Trav, the news is he's in the portal. He finna go out there. If he was willing to follow Prime to Jackson State, he wasn't by no helping our people, the African Americans, like he said in the 60 minute joint. As Prime coaching that shit up. That man love Deion Sanders. That's cool. That's cool. If I was 18 years old and the best basketball player in the country at that time, shit, I, if Michael Jordan told me to goddamn go with him, I probably would have went with Michael Jordan. You know, I can't put the 38-year-old mind uh, the way I think now as a 38-year-old experience and been through shit seen racism experience that shit like overtly right there i can't you know say that this me would have been the 18 year old me or he was he 19 he's a kid so I, I can't hold these kids to the same stand that i'm holding the dad i wish them well shallow to all of them and they ballers. I know some other kids that committed to Jack State. We might lose them now out there. You know, it's just tough, man. But they got a tough job. They got a tough job. Some of these games we won, Jack State, in the SWAC. We had the dogs. When the X's and the O's, it was the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And then in both celebration bowls, the X's and the O's kind of got them bit us in the ass. You know what I'm saying? Well, now, the talent disparity ain't going to be as big. I think he's going to recruit his ass off. But is he just going to whoop USC and recruit? Is he just going to whoop Utah and Oregon and recruit? We'll see. This shit going to be interesting, Jack. You know, he brought up tension and animosity that he thinks other programs had towards him about dominate. I wonder what these folks going to say. What, what, what will USC say about him in a recruiting battle? What, what type of shit might they leak if they trying to get a stud and both of them in contention for him? These motherfuckers play dirty. This this shit the wild wild west, Jack. They cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be interesting to see. You feel me? But that's the context. All right. That ain't no blue blood program. Now, if he if he's able to convert it to one, he'll get a statue out there. He will. We shall see. Put it on, son. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do it?